Toddlers love making noise, but just three months ago, Mason Hennock's world sounded like this. Mason was diagnosed with severe hearing loss in both ears right around his first birthday. We knew that something was wrong, um, but we didn't realize how severe it was. Months behind in his ability to communicate, Mason went through sophisticated testing, and experts at Cleveland Clinic determined he was an excellent candidate for cochlear implants, surgically implanted devices designed to improve hearing. He wasn't hearing much, and that became pretty obvious after just a few weeks in the early months of seeing him. Mason's surgery took about eight hours for both ears. Electrodes were implanted in the cochlea, or inner ear. Every time when I see the surgeon with his or her skill put in the electrode array, I actually have chills up my arms thinking, that's going to bring access to sound. Each morning, Mason's parents attach external processors that are worn on his head and ears. It transmits that sound um, using a radio signal um, to a, um, a series of 22 electrical leads that are actually in his cochlea. And over time, um, Mason interprets those electrical impulses as sound. Two weeks after surgery, it's the moment his parents have been waiting for. Mason's implants are activated. That was the real uh, aha moment for us, that he something that he had never experienced before was happening. Mason's ears are only three months old, but he's quickly catching up to his peers. He had first words within just a few weeks. And he's, he's talking to you right now, he's saying up. Mason's right, things are looking up, and the sky's the limit. He's got a little hurdle here, but the possibilities are really wide open for these kids. At Cleveland Clinic, I'm Erica Foreman.